Uh, guys, quick disclaimer, this video might not be very uh, age appropriate. So if you got any 13 year olds in the house, maybe skip this one, but you know, we're gonna talk about the porn industry, very exciting episode. So enjoy and subscribe, <laughs> please. Why don't I turn you on? Right on top of you. Just like tonight. <laughs> guys, relax. <laughs> Men are better at yeah. You know. I could see that. <laughs> I've heard. I've heard. For sure, far better than women. It's me, Mario. What is up, my friends, and welcome back to Uncensored. And guys, today we have a guest that I've met before at the Porn Expo here in Los Angeles. Mm. He is not only an adult star, he's also the winner of the Gavian Actor of the Year 2023. <sighs> and most importantly, as his biggest career achievement, he's now. <laughs> on Uncensored with Mario Adron's podcast. So give it up for Cole Connor, everybody. Hey! That's right. Ow, 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 so ow. excited to be here. Right? <laughs> so how does it feel after a long series of achievements to now finally have made it to the pinnacle of not only your career, but your life, which is this, oh like this podcast? <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm kind of like in a, in like a stage where I'm like kind of looking for what's next. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So important because like, you know, you, okay, first of all, how, what's it like? Because I saw your Instagram and I saw the photo you post. My, maybe Riley can throw it up here. And it's basically, let me show you Jeff too. You know, it's this photo here and you're holding the award for the GVN best leading actor. Oh yeah, that was Holy last shit. year. Like where I'm laying on the couch. Well, you, yeah, that, this one and here. Yeah. yeah, that was like back in the room after... Uh, after you received it? After when I got out of my clothes and put on a tank top. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you win Best Actor and now you're like, oh, what's next? Yeah, I mean, I did in 22, I won Best Newcomer again. Okay. And I got uh, like a couple of Grabbies in the last couple of years too. Yeah. So what, Grammys? Grabbies. Oh, Grabbies. Grabbies. I, Grabbies. I was like, a you said that so casually, not. dude. Just like, you know, after you win the Gavians, dude, a Grammy is just not really that, <laughs> no, you know, appealing a anymore. a Grabby or a Gavian make up the G and an EGOT. Say that one more time for a sort of straight person. <laughs> you got to translate. Neither a Grabby nor a Gavian make up the G and an EGOT. And an EGOT is when somebody wins an Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, and a Tony. Oh. <laughs> See, I think I'm both too German and also a little too straight to understand that. Yeah. But um, yeah, that was good. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, reference People go know over about my head. EGOTs. Yeah. EGOTs? EGOTs? I didn't know that. No. Yeah. yeah we, oh. we don't know a lot. Well, well, also, you got to figure out, we used to be male models. So, uh, you know, you got to so kind of, you kind of dumb it down <laughs> a little <laughs> bit for us. You know, just like, just like a little, like, you know, just like, so we understand Slow it down. better. So we understand it better. Yeah. <laughs> but no, no, we know what I'm excited about. I want to have you on also before. Um, first of all, we, we talked and we, well, we I, I met, I saw you at a comedy open mic too, which is yeah. hilarious. <laughs> um, and I like your energy and um, you know how open you are about the whole porn thing and stuff like that. And now Jeff and I, we were actually invited to go to the Avians and the Gavians in Vegas. Yeah. So now having, you know, one in the best actor category, what's, what do you think is going to happen in 2024? At the Gavians. At the is Gavians. there another category you're I'm, up for? I mean, I'm nominated for uh, Best Actor again. Okay. And I don't think I'll win it this year, though. I think there's... No. I didn't have, like, a meaty... I didn't have, like, a meaty role. <laughs> like so what I was did, the... The one I okay. did that... Um, <laughs> the one I did that I won for was a Raging Stallion movies, and it was, like... It's called in, Ride or Die, first, Raw ride or Deal, die. Hard Time, Raging Stallion. Yeah, so. So when, when you say, when it says best acting in a, in a porn award, does that refer to your, uh, you know, your, your, your penis acting or your That's acting? That's a good question. That's as good in question. acting in the intro scene to the porn. Yeah, it's for like scripted. Scripted, yeah. It would be like a scripted thing because there's, there's scripted movies um, and like web series and stuff like that. Yeah. And then there's like all sex movies and all sex movie is just like scene and scene and scene and scene. There's not a lot to it. It's just, there's no sex, story, no much. intro, no characters. Yeah, but in this one, in the, in ride or die, I was, um, I played like this horrible, awful, uh, prison warden who would like pimp out his prisoners. <laughs> Oh, and like, dang. Yeah, so. Some of these, especially, I mean, we watched some. Um, we watched some. We, so we did a video with um, Chris Damned. Uh -huh. and, and, and we watched some scenes with him. It was actually quite funny because some of the scenes had such elaborate 
character development within yeah. the scene. I mean, I'm maybe exaggerating a little bit, but it's definitely, <laughs> it's pretty much, it's pretty well thought out. Do people actually care about that in porn? Do you think like most people just skip it? I think some people, some people like to see it. Um, I think it makes it more fun as a performer. I can see that. And, yeah. it, and I think like the people on like the director and the, and the crew, they like, it feels more important to them, I guess. Yeah. When it's like when it's an actual movie, like ride or die was like, um, they had never done something like that big a budget before. Okay. So, yeah. Um, so yeah. And I wasn't even supposed to be in it at first. <laughs> no, I was not cast in that. Well, that's a good, one. So, <laughs> how, but, I, but the guy that I, that had my role, like, died like, like last he was in an minute, accident last minute, like canceled <laughs> okay and like a day like a day or two before i mean that's so, a great story you were the replacement yeah. and you fucking win best <laughs> actor shit. you know what i'm saying yeah see that's a moment. beautiful story it's yeah funny how funny you showed things. up and delivered <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I was supposed to be in puerto Vallarta for a friend's birthday yeah and so they had to change my flight and i had to go like two days late to where to do Puerto most Vallarta. of these um where do most of these shoot uh, these scenes shoot? Like, what's like the production mecca of? Because you know you have Hollywood with the studios. Is it LA or um, for Raging Stallion? <laughs> we shot a lot in Vegas and Palm yeah. Springs. Um, yeah, Falcons, Palm Springs a lot, but also I've shot in like New York and Utah and Utah. Yeah, it was like in the middle of nowhere yeah. in this in the like, Vatican. Bunker just like you know, made, so. <laughs> like, someone made this like. <laughs> cabin in a in like a boulder <laughs> it's like like just blew out this whole mountain and like yeah. built a built this like airbnb in it so and then that's where we shot. more blowing happened yeah Damn. hey i got a question about like when you first started uh quite some years ago i was working with a model on set and he had just gotten into porn and he told me breaking into it is really difficult he says his first, he said to get a chance, he said, first of all, it was like 500 bucks or something. And his first scene, they threw in like a 10 person orgy. And uh, he yes. had to, I think it was like to challenge him, to test him or something. He said it was the first time he ever took a Viagra. So he came in just, you know, savage. Wow. But is it, do they test you? Is there, is there a way breaking in to, to figure well, out? Well, when was that? When did that? This was happen? probably seven years ago. So it was a little bit of time ago. So, yeah, I mean, for me, because I started doing OnlyFans in October 2020. And like and before I, that, you, I did so, stuff with some like people. I mean, in LA, there's a ton of people here with big followings already. Yeah. So, and like just, all, of, all I had to do was like reach out and hey, you want to collab? You want to film? And so I would film a lot. And then, uh, like two weeks after I started my OnlyFans, that's when the director for Raging Stallion, Tony DeMarco, uh, out. reached out to me and asked me to be on something in December. And, and that, that was, was okay. Scene. So you you started on OnlyFans, and then you started uh, you did an actual studio porn scene, yeah. yeah. Okay, so what was the difference? Because I feel like an OnlyFans is all, it's obviously more homemade. It's a bit more intimate. It's a bit more raw and real. So It's faster, yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> it's faster, like, right? Like, the whole process seems more efficient, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's just like, um, yeah, the studio scenes, they can be such a fucking pain in the ass. So why do them? So like you start, and now, first of all, how was your first studio? Was it a 10-person orgy? When did no, three it was a three-way. <laughs> it three was way. like a verse three-way, yeah. so... Everybody so, topped, everybody bottom. So verse three, we're meaning three men, first of all, yeah? Yeah. Okay. And then, ver okay, they all, you switch, you kind of like. Yeah, it was. Okay. Yeah, lo lots of, lots of different positions. I like that. Mm. Um, you can do a So they just need, they like, studio, they need, of every position that you're doing, they need, you know, four or five minutes of footage that they Damn. can cut. Yeah. Or they, or they, I think, I don't know what they cut it down to. Maybe like two or three minutes of each, each position, which yeah. means they need like 10 minutes in each position. Yeah. And so then you've got like pictures first. And if you have any B-roll, that's like, that. that's what we call acting stuff in. 
Oh, so yeah. B roll, B roll, B roll, okay. Yeah, B roll, so B-roll is like usually, usually like, like establishing shots and stuff God, for like dude. normal. <laughs> yeah, so B roll is like you know you standing outside the door, you know, looking like this. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Or like yeah, any yeah. conversation that the characters are having. Okay. Um. So OnlyFans is just a lot. You know, I can, I can shoot a lot of those. Sure, very and because it's it's almost like the difference between traditional Hollywood, I would say, and then social media. You know, OnlyFans being social media, where the, 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 smaller budgets, more control, it's almost democratized yeah. the internet and creators. So why even do, like, what's the, I was wondering about this, what's the appeal for an adult star to even do these studio scenes when you can A, make more money on OnlyFans, have more control, and have an easier shoot shooting schedule? I wanted the same thing, yeah. I think it worked out. I think it was good for me because I I was so new mm-hmm. to OnlyFans and stuff. So they just kind of like, they just kind of both went like their exposure yeah. from their exposure them got it. made me like more prominent. Yeah. And it made, you know, it makes people want to work with you more. Uh, mm, if you if have the know, professional like, experience, I mean, yeah. I did that one scene and then Falcon Naked Sword signed me as an exclusive. So Naked Sword? Falcon Naked Sword. First of all, the branding on that shit is unbelievable. <laughs> naked Sword, I respect that. That's amazing. <laughs> naked Sword, I love that. Yeah. So, so they, they they signed you then. So that means you can still do your OnlyFans. You're not on an exclusive contract. You can yeah. still do OnlyFans. I just couldn't shoot for like other porn studios. Got it. So what's, I know there's men. Men. Um, yeah. They shoot, they're mostly in Montreal. Got it. I just know, yeah, with M- M- Malik. And, Malik. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I filmed with him um, in Montreal. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, I feel like everybody knows each other that, that circle, you know, because we have some friends yeah, in the industry. Yeah. Like, uh, actually, Malik was on this podcast too. Yeah. Malik. It was Malik. Is, yeah. is he like the tip of the? the tip I mean, of he's, the, he's a newcomer he's too, right? He's like, yeah, he's he was doing it before me. He was. Yeah. A, he was a. He was a. He's man so exclusive. young. That's why he's so he's young, right? Super young, yeah. 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 Yeah, how old is he now? I don't know, like twenty. He's. I was shocked. Is he? So, yeah, I think he was like twenty-one when I mm-hmm, when I mm-hmm. shot with him. Yeah. So how much did you're just asking for a friend? How much does a scene pay for? Um, you know, like I don't know if you have to say specifically your first one, but like, it, what's the number? Like, what's the ratio? If I, I wanted to non hypoth- exclusive, like what they pay, what they pay models who aren't exclusives is, I think like a newcomer. somewhere between like. 800 and 1200 okay for a scene for a scene mm-hmm. and do people still would people still because the one thing i was wondering about is that only fans is almost like this you're a fan of somebody you've seen them online mm. and then if you want to see more exclusive more explicit content you can subscribe to them yeah but do you sometimes worry if there's porn of you out there already on these platforms basically for free on like pornhub yeah, yeah. is there still an incentive for people to actually subscribe to your only fans there's all there's always going to be people that like think they are above buying porn yeah paying for it yeah so and they're very like they'll tell like they'll all get a message like oh i don't pay for porn i'm like well why the fuck are you telling me that yeah. <laughs> go away block yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so um being an exclusive was good for me i was one for like three years okay until like recently and i just don't think I don't think we needed each other anymore, really. Okay. So. <laughs> you felt grow on them. You were like, um. you were, listen, guys, I just won Gavian Raging Stallion Actor of the Year. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> what does that actually do? What does winning a porn award do? Is it like uh, when you just get recognition in the industry, I guess, right? Maybe you. Yeah. I mean, also, it's, well, um, the there are some fi- uh, fan voted categories and the Grabbies is all uh, fan voted. Gavian. Uh, has more industry voting or okay like inside so um and i don't know i don't know who makes those decisions <laughs> i don't know either like who makes the decisions for the golden globes for the oscars the hollywood like, foreign press yeah but who is it's like who, anybody yeah, who, with a publication okay yeah it's huh. like uh it's i think it's it's a weird system that's sorry all hollywood saying. foreign press but i think it's pretty easy to get into yeah right I I feel like, yeah yeah right? I don't yeah know. yeah well, there you go. There we go. So, um, do, and then when you started though, what was your back? Cause you said you were a trainer before, Ryan. So how did you get into OnlyFans yeah. from training? You just, it was in the pandemic, I'm assuming, right? Well, like shutdown happened in March. Yeah. 
Uh, so no more gyms, no more training people. Yeah. I was doing online coaching too. Yeah. Which I'd already started like or like the previous year. Yeah. But um, I wasn't really enjoying it. It wasn't really like it was really boring to me. I know. I mean, the online stuff I've done. Some I just had to stuff spend a just, lot of time yeah. on at my desk and my yeah. computer. I mean, like not like I could go anywhere else. Yeah. But I was doing some photo shoots with the a photographer that is now my videographer and has been the whole time. Mm-hmm. So he always shoots me. Yeah. Uh, when I do scenes for OnlyFans. Um. And we were doing some photo shoots and I needed content that was like fitness, fitnessy yeah. and like, you know, stuff I can share on Instagram and Facebook. And I was like, we did one shoot and we were doing a second one. And I was like, what the night before I'm like, Hey, what do you want me to bring? Like, do you have any ideas? And he's like, Oh, like jock straps and stuff. And we'll do <laughs> nudes and blah, blah, blah. I was like, Okay, I can't use any of that stuff. Yeah, literally, on, yeah, yeah. Um, on those platforms, I was like, maybe if I had an OnlyFans, it would make sense. But like, I'm like, he's like, why, why don't you have an OnlyFans? So I was like, why don't I have an OnlyFans? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> and then <laughs> well, if I had an OnlyFans, that'd like, be crazy. Right. <laughs> I was like, all what right, if? yeah, let's do it. And then I thought, I thought maybe just like some nudes and like some solo stuff and whatever for, for, and like yeah you know, like see start. how it goes that's how we all started yeah. and, then, <laughs> and then i was like oh this is gonna get boring really fast i need yeah. to start fucking people mm-hmm. same so. dude that's exactly <laughs> what to us dude i was like one day i was like fuck what am i doing with this life let's just plow <laughs> let's just bang <laughs> yeah i know i get that it's funny it's actually similar to us like i i started modeling right and I had so many photographers I wanted to shoot with and I wanted them to shoot fashion shots of me that I could use for my portfolio mm. to then book jobs when I go to castings you know for like fashion jobs I was right. in New York at the time but every photographer I shot with they were like Mario listen uh, we're gonna shoot two looks for you but in exchange we need 10 hard dick photos <laughs> and like, then we can make the shoot happen literally this was, I mean like, what's the this is <laughs> okay no the photographer would always be like listen Mario um I, I can shoot this for you, but it's a lot of work, a lot of styling. So I need to do something else that's worth it for me. And I was like, what? what do you, and I, you know, you young model. So I did a lot of nude photo shoot that I never did anything with. And then I made this YouTube experiment video more for fun, more like actually I made this video called uh, how much money can I make on OnlyFans in a month experiment or something. <laughs> and uh, I, I did it and it worked, you yeah. know, and I had a place for all these photos. And then I was like, uh, I'm, I'm not going to stop this experiment. So then, you know, I, I can, and then this was right before the pandemic. Yeah. And then I, you know, had an OnlyFans. And it's so funny. Some photo shoots, <laughs> my friend told you me You had this. an OnlyFans before I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But you, I'm, you know, here I am, I'm still on, you know, trying to sell out comedy shows in New York and I am nowhere near winning Gavian Best Actor in 2023. <laughs> so, you know, you definitely surpassed me in that category. Well, you have to start doing gay porn. I think so that. too. I think so I think too. Right. Yeah, no, I, I felt, com- I love doing, you know, I, have, I like shooting sexy stuff, like modeling photo yeah, shoots. Yeah. I've done a lot of underwear photo shoots, some nudes, implied nudes, whatever. And that's what I felt comfortable with. And I like that. So now I have a place to share all that stuff on OnlyFans. Yeah. By the way, you know, go subscribe. <laughs> but um, this funny, like we had a- Do you ever do stuff with people on your OnlyFans? Like, pushing boundaries stuff. I like have, yeah. Mainly with Jeff. Glad you, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I mean. I with, mean like this stuff. <laughs> well, yeah, this is a bromance calendar, you know. This is um, in speedos and stuff. No, we did like a video. We did one or two videos, nothing crazy, but like one video we, um, we, we, uh, we, we banged apple pies together, mm-hmm. oh. you know, because American Pie, you know, they, they did that. And I, I want to see what it's like. Because that's one of my favorite better movies. Than real thing. And, better uh, than the real thing. Better than the real thing. Nice and warm. Once you bang sticky. pies. So is, so is a body. <laughs> that's true. But listen, sticky though, unless you use water-based lube. But a lot more compliant. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah. Once you fuck pies, you, you want, you don't, you are, you're not going back. You're a pie. You're not going back, You're a pie man. guy. <laughs> once you've tasted the pie, you ain't going back, my man. Yeah. I'm telling you. I have that vision of that pie when you were done. And it's just all in crumbles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what'd you do to this? Yeah, I <laughs> yeah, know the pie is, uh, yeah. I have to apologize to the pie. But that <laughs> no, but we've done some stuff, obviously, you know, but like, I, I kind of had to make a decision. I don't know. I just didn't feel too comfortable. And I also, I respect all porn stars because I made this video on YouTube trying to become a porn star as an experiment. 
And I signed up and I submitted my stuff and then I went to an actual test shoot. And they just took photos and stuff. But I was there and I was like, yo, I already have trouble performing sexually. I know I don't look like it. I know you're very surprised right now. I know I look like I just have everything together. But sometimes sure. it's hard pleasing even one person, you know, namely my fiance. But doing that on set with people watching, having to do it for like, whatever you said, 10 minutes in one position. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's not, like an all day thing. It's like a long thing. Not having to, you can come and you have to come in the moment. That's so much pressure. I'm pee shy already. Like, can you imagine? That's, that's crazy. And it's a real skill, right? I mean, I don't think I have. So do you yeah. remember one of the first shoots we ever did when we were wrestling? We had that awesome photographer and he wanted it to be homoerotic, but we had on little speedos. I remember he would tell us, Hey, go to the side and fluff. Oh my God. And I just saw, you just looked upset or like let down. I don't know. I thought that was a big moment for you. I just, you were over there having a conversation with Winky. Yeah. You're like, why are you doing this? Why? Yeah. And I'm like, why don't I turn you on? You should be naturally aroused, Mario. Yeah, we did this photo shoot like wrestling, like two guys wrestling. It was very beautiful, actually. Shot is like an editorial yeah. style thing. Like, you think I'm ugly, don't you? <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know. It's just different. It's not, it's like, Jeff, it's not about I mean, you. Yeah. It's not that? about what you, I Jeff. Do? It is about the circumstance because there's nothing less romantic than being, first of all, outside in a fucking, you know, we shot this thing somewhere in the hills at like a, what's called a Steinbruch. You know, when they have like stones and like it falls, it's like just like rocks or uh, whatever. And yeah. we're shooting there wrestling oh, yeah. bare, with our bare feet. And you know, my dick is just not into that. And then it's the most humiliating thing. You're wrestling, you're doing, doing photos supposed to look sexy. And then you have to go to the side while the photographer's checking the photos <laughs> and we're going to two sides, just aggressively trying to fluff ourselves. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just not hot. I was yeah. fully erect. I, I was know, trying to Jeff push was, it down. Jeff was, was like, God, time. calm down here. <laughs> even before the studio, <laughs> it was just fully erect. Like, Jeff, we haven't even started yet. What the fuck? <laughs> I bet. I think for me, like I've never had an issue with people being around or cameras or yeah. anything. I'm, all, I'm like pretty natural. Does it turn it. you like, on? It doesn't, having cameras around? Like is it like an exhibitionist? I, I mean, yeah. I think you have, have to be if, a little bit. I mean, my, I'm into groups. Anyway, and like all gay people in Los Angeles are, and <laughs> like um, yeah. I don't know. So <laughs> I, I I'm used I'm I do it fairly often enough where I'm used to people being around. Yeah, you know, and and I've I mean I've shot so many scenes. Yeah. So uh, so it was not, it's easy, not like it's not it like came natural you to said, you. I'm, this is what I was gonna say. You said it's not very romantic, and I'm like it's not romance. It's just sex. For me, it's got like it. Sex yeah. and performance. Yeah. So, and have you ever have you ever encountered yourself in the in a situation on set where you were like, oh, "Fuck, I can't, I can't, I can't get it up right now." No. No. Fuck I, it. Uh, That's what I'm fucking talking about. Give it up. Wow. For, give it up for fucking cool car. <laughs> what there are fucking things go. you can do? <laughs> yeah. To take, like where you don't have to worry. Okay. About how it. can you always be hard asking for a friend? There's an injection. An injection. Trimix. Mm. Trimix. I've heard of Trimix. Mm. God so, dang, does it last? I love that Bachmann was uh, on his phone. Once we said that, he fucking perked up. <laughs> <laughs> it depends how it depends how much you do. Um, but it's not supposed to last more than like four hours. Uh, sometimes it does. So and you, set, there's an antidote also. It's another injection. Hold on. So you so, <laughs> put an injection into your cock yes. that will make it hard? For four hours. Mm -hmm. God damn. Even Where in, do you put it? In the, yeah, in the base. Cool. Like uh just in the base, right? And then like in the base, it's like anywhere from like if you're looking at a clock, like three to also I don't like the dimension to using right now. <laughs> like it's like what three the to five <laughs> three to five. Three to like on a clock, three to five. If you're looking at your penis like a clock, like the base of it. Yeah. Three to five and Got seven it. to nine. So it's four injections around your penis. No, base? no, no. Just you can put it oh, any, in that, anywhere. Oh in my that, god! In I'm spot. afraid of needles. I am. Yeah. I was afraid of the vaccine and all a that lot stuff. Of people are, a lot of people. A lot of people can't do it themselves. I've, so you put I've in your put penis. it in other people a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't there some people had to go to the hospital before with that? Or? Yeah, it's like some people don't know what they're signing up for when somebody like at like a sex party. 
and yeah. someone has Trimix and they're just like giving away shots and putting it in. Guys to, and they're like, and so the guys go home after and their dicks are still hard and they don't have the antidote and they don't know what to do. And antidote, that's crazy. They, so, so they like, they've had to, their dicks yeah, explode. You have to get your dick drained at the ER. Mm. Drain of blood. Yeah, I've never seen. I've never seen it. I've heard about it, but I'm like, oh <laughs> man, that sounds yeah. horrible. This is way stronger than just Viagra or Cialis. Yeah, or? yeah. Okay. For OnlyFans stuff, I, I, I can usually be fine with just some Cialis. Yeah, yeah. I like Cialis more than Viagra. Viagra Same. makes you stuffy. Yeah, it yeah. does. I see. I took it once for a YouTube video. You see a theme here. Most things I do in life is exclusively for YouTube, YouTube videos. Um, you got to teach me some stuff about YouTube because I'm I yeah. do not know. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I love. I mean, YouTube. I did YouTube. I did YouTube. That's how I started everything. You know, yeah, like modeling. Yeah. I made vlogs about modeling and stuff. But I did a, a video where, for an experiment, I tried Viagra once, and it just made me. It didn't even make me hard. It just made my. I felt like my yeah, ears like were red. red. Blushed, my ears blushed. were red and I felt kind of weird. And I don't know, I couldn't feel a big diff. It was just like, yeah. unless I was really aroused, I wouldn't be hard. Because I thought it would just like make my penis hard right away. But yeah. you have to be aroused still. Right. right? Um, yeah. Not well, for Cole yeah, Connor, you'll apparently. Need <laughs> you'll need some stimulation with yeah. the pills. Even mm. Trimix, like, it makes some of the tissue hard. Mm -hmm. But the stuff that like makes the head look big and like the little uh, like tube under at the bottom of your dick, yeah, 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 like that, like that won't be there if you're like not stimulated. God, so it. it's like all it's the like, details like and dick. stuff in the in the yeah. penis are like you need to be actually aroused. That is so interesting. But it's easier when you when like half of your dick is already hard. You know, yeah, and like here's the, the thing. Inside of it, what what turns me <laughs> on? The tissue on the outside that needs actual more stimulation. That's so okay. funny. So you've like a, it's like the construct. It's like a skeleton zombie dick or something like that. Yeah. How many people are on a porn set usually? How many is is it like? How, how, what are we talking? I've been doing different productions for like acting stuff and TV stuff. You know. And um, I mean, sometimes some I've done scenes with like where the director is doing all doing everything and like okay. filming everything. Yeah. And directing you and like fixing lights and, and fluffing all and all of that. And yeah. Setting up the sound fucking thing. <laughs> Is he also um, the fluffer? No. No. <laughs> um, yeah, fluffers don't really exist. No, is that a myth? That's a myth. No wow. fluffers. Yeah. I think a lot of people, just, I think a lot of people it, watching me would like to apply that, like, for their position. I think it's like a, probably a joke that started <laughs> where uh, like if a guy needed to get hard on set, is and like their scene, probably their scene partner was like, Oh, will you, you want to fluff me? And then someone's probably like, Oh, someone should do fluffing full time. We just need a fluffer here. And so that's probably where it's <laughs> <That's> probably. <laughs> and then a lot of people sign up, though. I think a lot, a lot of people, of people would. A lot of people up. would. Dude. Like, oh, no, 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 no. That's not a job that we want to hire anybody <laughs> for. That we want to pay is anyone it, for. Is it also true? My The guy that told me he got in, he said, You get challenged that first time because he said, If you do not come, Nobody gets paid on set. Is that true? <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> that he was like, a liar. That sounds, I mean, no. Dude, that I, I, like I think I've heard that. Well, I've heard that. That's very cutthroat. This was eight years ago. This probably. Is, yeah. So I, eight years. I not think that there long. are like probably <laughs> some assholes like in the eighties, maybe, dude. But assholes you were. in production that have done that before and been like, "Well, you're not getting paid unless you do a cum shot." But there's <laughs> ways to fake cum shots too. So I've heard of that too. Yeah. Can you tell us all for the viewers? Watching I've only television like one. right now, yeah. Only, only one. one, okay, okay yeah. Um, and it was like after a really long day, I was done. Like, so you had already performed that day. I had already done like B roll in fucking three different locations. Yeah, <laughs> and the last location was like in the middle of the desert. It was getting cold. Mm. Three guys. I was like getting uh ra gang raped <laughs> in the in the scene. I love that. And, like, and, <laughs> and I you know like two of the guys so and I I had to be the last one. Yeah. For so sure. yeah. it took 
So like the first two guys were good. And then the third guy who I, I had shot with before and I know that he was going to need to do a fake one. I'd never seen him do a real, a real one, mm. but for some reason we let him like sit in a right warm <laughs> car and fluff himself and try to like try for like 30 minutes. Mm. And I'm like this, I'm like sitting on the hood of a car under a blanket. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm like, can we just get, get him to do a fake fucking cum shot? And then, um, so when it came time for mine, the director's like, well, you know, you're getting raped. So it's, you probably shouldn't be like, it shouldn't look like you're jerking yourself off. Like, and I was like, well, I'm not going to come hands free. I know that. <laughs> and he's like, well, if you, he's like, just get yourself there and then like throw your hands to the side and like shoot. And I was like, I'll give it a shot. So Literally. we did it. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to come. Like one of the guys is fucking me. <laughs> and, um, uh, I throw my hands to the side and then I'm like, oh, oh no, 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 come back, come back. Like, I just like kind of went away. It's like I came, <laughs> but then like it, but like not fully. Oh, and then, oh, and then I was yeah, like, happens, yeah. I was like, I lost it. And like, hey man, like, don't, just, don't, don't beat yourself up. Okay. No, you're, no. Still, you're still the chap. Okay? No, it was not a good feeling though. Yeah, no, I I was, no, because I was like, I don't want to do a fucking fake cum shot. It's like, but hey, I'm going to just, let me try for like 10 more minutes. Mm. Like, I don't want to keep everybody here. Like it was the last thing that we needed to do. And I was like, I was, <laughs> everybody was exhausted. I think. So, but so. how, okay. So, but, but how, how specifically do you fake? <laughs> like, like what is, what, what happens? Like, do you, do you, you know what I mean? Is that, is that a weak question? I just um, asked for, yeah. Like, is there like uh, a, is there like a, they have a, fake a shooting there's, thing? Yeah. There's fake cum. It's like a, it's like a Cetaphil. Okay. You know, like a soap. So yeah, it's like kind of soapy, right? Yeah. <laughs> and um, uh, they can mix that up and then put it in a, put it in like a squirt thing. Got it. And there's a tube, a long tube that you would have to like put. I've never used that before. I think the, the one I faked, I was on my back. So I... They literally just like put the stuff in my hand and I just yeah. kind of like, it just kind of like looked like. Yeah, you know, yeah. So it wasn't like a big. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Um, so, but uh, yeah, I've seen them use, I've seen them use the tube and then like some guy on the crew is like behind the couch. Like See, and that is, I think that is, I think that is fascinating. Like a water gun. That's um, fascinating because you know we don't think about those things. So yeah. when you see it edited, you have like, uh, like each cum shot is usually filmed separately. Uh, and like, like I think they don't, they just don't want to try to depend, try to get both cum shots in the one shot mm -hmm. when like two people come at the same time. Yeah, even though like I mean, if it happens. It's magic. It's magic. Magic. It's That's usually, like yeah. <laughs> cinema and then you're magic. Like, cool. Two yeah, yeah, two yeah. cum shots in one. It's like that We're magical done. moment that happens once a century. You know, um, <laughs> you just have that after a long day, and uh, I've yeah, I've had some where I I'm waiting, waiting for my scene partner, and waiting and waiting, and I'm like, God damn it. Can well, we I think in that one? sense, I might be good because I yeah. Can we give him a fake one? Mine was real. That's good enough. <laughs> Damn. I always try to come first. <laughs> Same. Yeah. Same. There you go. Same with my fiance. I, I always want to come. I'm always like, babe, I'm going to race you. you know? I'm so quick though. I mean, I always say this. I come so quick. I love that because yeah. I. No, but too quick. I'm I, think, like, I, I am guess. not a sex marathon person. Yeah. I'm like, I do that enough on sets. I have to make it last for filming. Yeah. So when I have sex. Like it's efficient. German. I I'm like I'm like five to ten minutes. Love like, it. Tops. Love it. Amazing. Yeah. Fantastic. Ten. I love that. I love that. Like and uh, so in your personal. So how often do you shoot scenes? Then what would you say? Like per month or per week? Um, I mean sometimes <laughs> I am for like two per week. Two per week. Okay. Um, sometimes it's more because mm -hmm. people come into LA and then they hit me up. Yeah. And I already have two scheduled and I'm like, 
Yeah, because yeah, you get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so, not like a podcast where you I just, just, yeah, you just sometimes keep going. I feel but, bad. Yeah. I feel yeah. bad. Uh, I mean, I can shoot. I can have sex every day. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> but I have up. to get my cameraman there. Like, I have to. Yeah, for sure. You know, sometimes I've overused it. Like, in December before the holidays, I was like, I shot a lot. And I was like, I know this is a lot. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. And you're going to get a break. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're okay. getting a break. You're getting a break soon. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I try for two. I did one last night. Okay. And today's and your rest day. One. You're coming on the podcast. Today is my You don't have to come today know, just to, to let you know. <laughs> Unless you want to. <laughs> I didn't get to go yesterday. Yeah. Um, and has you, are you in a relationship? Are you single? Um, I'm single. Single. Oh. <laughs> Unless so and so is watching. Oh um, my god, that's a. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you have to. I mean, yeah. I've been, I've been hanging out with somebody. Okay. Um, he does not do porn. Um, we met, we met at the gym. Nice. So in the gym, steam room, gym crushes. Nice, Love but I'm still like I met it. That was a long time ago. That was yeah. like before COVID. Yeah, and yeah. So we recently like started hanging out some more. Nice. How has your per like? I always wonder does does shooting porn affect your personal sex life? Yeah, it's like a, another guy I dated for like three months or so, uh, like last year, um, was always like. You know, because I'm not, I'm, I'm, if I'm shooting a lot, I don't really, I don't have a sex drive. Yeah. Like, exactly. That's what I was wondering. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm 41. I'm not a, mm -hmm. not a great. spring chicken. Yeah. A spring chicken. So, uh, yeah, I just, um, he, he would always say, like, oh, well, no, you get a, like, I'm not going to get in the way of, like, what you have to do. It doesn't bother me that much. Like, uh, but then he'd be like, well, I don't, he's like, I get very little of you sexually. Like, mm, for sure, like yeah. you fuck all these guys, like all the, like for like hours and yeah. whatever. And but then guess I, what? That's and I get putting the food minutes. on the table so right like, now. That's because I like five minutes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> be grateful. You <laughs> son. <laughs> well, I can see that. I can see that, you know, cause then maybe you crave more of the, do you maybe crave more of the intimacy then that you maybe don't get? Cause porn, I think is more of the physical, right? That sexual, but well, we talk yeah. about the romance maybe, you know, cause that yeah, balance yeah. I think can be. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, I'm, <laughs> I feel like I've gotten, I've developed some more intimacy issues <laughs> as in the last in the last year. Yeah, it's like other stuff that happened. And, okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it, it's never really been like uh, a goal I set for myself to like be in a committed relationship with mm -hmm. somebody. I don't believe in monogamy. Yeah, it's stupid. Mm. I would never <laughs> not like, be. I would never <laughs> not be in an open relationship. It makes no sense to me why so people you can can't not be realistic be, yeah. and say, oh, I'm probably going to want to fuck someone at some point yeah. other than you. Right. And let's not have it be a huge betrayal. Mm. Yeah. Well, so, I think especially, I think amongst gay men. It's pretty it is, easy. Would you, I, I'm assuming, I mean, just from talking to my friends, I feel like more gay men are non-monogamous than monogamous. Yeah, I definitely just from, know. I don't know any... I, I mean, maybe LA is also different than like, you yeah. know, gay people in Minnesota or something. I know something, much more open they don't exist there. relationship guys yeah. than I do closed ones. Got it. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So I have one friend that's like going through a breakup now with this guy and they were monogamous, but he always felt like the guy was cheating on him. Mm. And I was like, you know how you fix this? You open it. And you are mm -hmm. honest about it instead of accusing him and him denying and then like having it be tension it. in your relationship <laughs> instead just be like, and especially if it's like long distance. Yeah. But does does <laughs> open relationship mean that you, so you can have sex with other people? Do you have to tell your partner about it or is it kind of like you just don't talk about I it? I think it's different for everyone. Okay. I would probably not want to talk about it really okay. so you wouldn't want your partner to tell you if he they can had, tell me like yeah. nothing bothers me but like i don't know how someone internalizes that 
It's difficult for sure. I mean, I can see there's a lot of, yeah, I kind of, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. And do you still get a strong desire to, let's say, have sex with a lot of people outside of the industry or do, like you were saying, do you crave more connection? Even with my girlfriend, like if she, we just kiss a little bit and she goes down, she starts sucking my cock. I'm like, that's, I, I want a proxy. Language, I want Jeff. a proxy for that. <laughs> Language. I want to have a connection with you. So like, come up Look here. In my, my eyes are up here. Get yeah. up here. Exactly. Yeah. I'm like, exactly. no, I'm like, this is, no. Stop looking at my cock. <laughs> at my, I'm like, at my cock. She wants to be all slutty down there. I'm like, no, come here. I need the connection Let with her you. Let her be yeah, slutty. Talk, talk to me about my feelings. Let's go. Like, <laughs> Let her be a goddamn whore. <laughs> she wants, yeah. She does. She does. She that does want to be. so funny. Oh my God. Well, maybe it's also because women have been pressured to be that, right? I think a lot of women, they feel like they have to be that. Then she's just trying to conform to society. Yeah, and we then, grow, you know, we, well, like we watch movies and TV shows and read books where like people, it convinces people cheating is a, is a construct. Yeah. <laughs> that it, but it convinces people that like, if someone cheats on you, then they can't love you. Yeah. And it's just not, I just don't buy into that. And like a sexual experience is, yeah, can be. I mean, anything. it's not cheating we're, if you're open, right? It's like, just in, with the all lack the of communication and stuff and all the casual sex that people have. You don't think I can separate sex with somebody else from a, from a relationship that I'm in? Yeah. You know? I mean, yeah, sure. I can see how sometimes it depends on the person. I think it has to be communicated first off, but I think energetically, I do think there's something about like you share energy with somebody, even if you, if you, um, compartmentalize that and say, okay, that's a, that's a non-romantic exchange yeah. here. I think it can still energetically affect your relationship in a way. But I think if you're clear about, you talk about that's like the, the main, the main. Yeah. The main I, thing, right? I mean, there are also like open couples that only play together, Got which it. I think is a mistake. <laughs> um, yeah. First of all, I don't like hooking up with a couple like that because you're always in, into one more. Yeah, and you feel that like one of them mm -hmm. is always into you Left more out, than the yeah, other. And yeah. it's like, it just, it's like a weird, mm. it can be a little weird for them, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's just not fun to, that's not fun to bring in. I can sex. see that. You know, I've never, I'm so vanilla. I mean, it's supposed to be fun. It's three so, way is supposed to be fun. <laughs> yeah, that's so interesting. It's interesting for me to, to interview also like, you know, adult yeah. stars, because I'm on the other side where I'm very non, I'm pretty, you know, like I, I'm very vanilla. You're a nun. A, I'm, a, I'm a nun. <laughs> yeah, <I'm> <laughs> Amen. That's right, you are. I'm just uh, more on the non-sexual side. So this is very fascinating to me. Yeah. Because I'm in a monogamous relationship with my fiance. And um, yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Jeff just keeps, <laughs> Jeff is trying to change that. He's been trying to change that since day one. You know, different. anytime, any, any opportunity Jeff gets is like, hey, you're all looking for a third. And you think he's half drug, but he actually fucking means it. I know he means it. Oh, no, you need <laughs> to bring me in. It's time. Close your eyes. It'll be fine. I got The you. issue is that Jeff looks like my fiance. Have you seen my, have you seen my fiance? This is the craziest thing. Oh you know, my God. she looks like, look at her. This is Jeff. This is her. Don't they look like similar? You know, it's kind of concerning sometimes. Where are you, you from? Know. Tennessee. Oh, I'm from Kentucky. Wow. There you go. Oh. Southern boy. Right on top of you. That's right. See? <laughs> Just like tonight. <laughs> Just like tonight. <laughs> Jesus Lord, guys, relax. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? When you oh, connect, man. you connect. What can I so say? Do you have any, do you have any, so do you have, so you've always been a more sexual person, even before porn, you say. You get a healthy yeah. sex drive. Nice. That's dope. That's that's hot. I like that. Oh, <laughs> He's just smiling at Jeff right now. That's great. Wow. That's great. Wow. Um, that's good. Yeah. Do you have any? So, do you have any sex tips for us? Anything you've learned in your in 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 your years of experience now in in, in the porn field? Sex tips. Uh, I think it's good to keep sex more something fun. It doesn't have to be serious. You know, mm -hmm. it's like a, it's a good way to connect, but like have fun with it. You okay. know, it's not. Cause I'm sometimes in my head. Sometimes I'm like, yeah, I think I, I cannot come. People that's can gonna... get in their head yeah. and then there's not really, if, if guys have some performance anxiety, yeah. um, then, then there's like, I mean, there's even times where you can take a pill and, but your head can fuck you up 
Yeah. Like more than the pill is sure. helping you. It's a psycho. I mean, psychological. It's, yeah. it's so psychological, all of it. Mm. I mean, everything you do. So but. do you take the pressure off yourself, girl. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fine. God damn. Just, How you just relax and go with just it. It's okay. Let's go. It's true. Sometimes I've had, and I can give tell a you massage, this. Give her a massage first. Okay. 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 <laughs> let, let, you relax, yeah. let yourself relax. Bring okay. some poppers let her, in there. Her, uh, no, she just needs to give me a massage. massage so I yeah. Relax, yeah, yeah. You know? That's good. That's good. I like that. I like that. I feel less pressure with her because we know each other. We have a lot of trust, yeah. you know, but you know, we talked some on the last podcast. I just have, you know, I just, ex, I just ex, exuberate. Is that a word? Exude? exude. Exude. Yeah. I just, I just exude masculinity and absolute like <laughs> awfulness. Uh -huh. Right. So mm -hmm. people, when they see me, they just expect an absolute love fest. You know, they expect like yeah. hours of passionate love making. And sometimes it's hard for me in my head then to live up to the expectations that my image online <laughs> gives people. So that's been a struggle of mine, you know, because it's hard to, but nobody's it, seeing it, but your fiance. Yeah. But I don't know. It's it. What do you mean? Nobody's seen it. Nobody is watching you have sex. No, but okay. I, there's not, something you don't have to perform for anybody, but her. I know, but <laughs> True, just based yeah. on, you know, really okay. I, I don't want to sound like an absolute douchebag, but you know, I have some photos like underwear models. I'm in a sexy way. And I just look like, uh, do you know, like a sex god? <laughs> <laughs> I can relate. <laughs> you know what I feel? It's I tough. feel your pain. <laughs> Give me no, it's, it's, hard. Hard. <laughs> it's hard to be considered a sex <laughs> god because I walk True. down the street. I go to fucking Sprouts. I go to Whole Foods. People see me as a sex god, you know? I walk down the aisle, I grab the egg. People like look at me and they see me in the sexual way and I'm not that. So then sometimes for me, that pressure has been too much and I crumble under the pressure. Yeah. I'm dead serious right now. Sprouts is a tough place. Dude, it's a tough <laughs> place, you know? <laughs> yeah. So anyways, you're, you're a sexual person. You, you've, that's good. That's good. So you're in the right industry. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the sex to just like, you know, relax. Yeah. yeah what I about women? So. Have you ever, have you ever been, have you, have, you're gay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gay, yeah. Like a hundred percent. I mean, I've had sex with women, so um, that's a little sus. I, until like <laughs> until like last month, I hadn't had sex with a woman for like ten years. Hold on, you had sex with a woman last month <laughs> for pleasure? Let's go. Um, I was paid. Okay, oh, you were paid. <laughs> Is that um, straight? See, that's the thing. It's almost like, is it okay? And there's the, another guy there too, but the guy well, I didn't not, do anything. It's almost like the reverse now. It's almost like saying, oh yeah, I kissed a dude once, but I'm still straight. You know, it's like, you know, I sex with him, but I was paid, so it's not, it's not straight, you know? It's almost like, no I hetero, bro. No hetero. I'm still gay. I'm still gay. I don't hate <laughs> having sex with women. Like I can, I can do it. I can do like, I could do straight scenes or dude, scenes, I could do it, dude. I could, I could do, do, do it right now, dude. Put me, I fucking, put put me, me in there. Like, so you can do it. Put you can do it. Any position, you. dude. I fucking I deliver. I can do it all. I have Trimix. Yeah, I have Trimix. <laughs> so is it, okay, when you had sex with a woman, though, how long had it been since you had sex with a woman? Uh, until, like, before last month? It's like 10 years. 10 years? Oh, Dang. Yeah. What's the difference, you would say, between having sex with a woman versus a guy? Is it, like, even important? Is it, like, a big difference, you'd say? Just, like, how to... You know, energetically. You don't need as much lube with a woman. That makes sense. Okay. <laughs> I get that. I get that. Yep, 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 yep. That makes sense. Um, I find men are better at blowjobs. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I Jeff, could, you know. I could see that. <laughs> I've heard. I've heard. I've heard. Um, no, I've heard. I mean, my friends, yeah. Like, women can be kind of like... A little, little lollipop. Like, yeah, you're like, it's not an ice cream cone. Yeah. You're like, and then man. Take it. Take it. Take it in. <laughs> Swallow do, it. I don't want to see my cock. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do men do it though? Much more like hand engagement. Got and, it. And, you know. Yeah. Um, just, just not afraid power. of it. Just like, not, not afraid of it. If you don't. If you have one yourself, you're not going to be afraid of someone else. Well, I think it makes sense that, that unless it's be, ugly or something. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That happens because you have absolutely no idea what it would be like for a man to suck your dog. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no idea. This is a hypothetical right. scenario, yeah. but I'm just picturing that, of course, since you know, be one of your YouTube experiments. <laughs> <laughs> He's on to something. I bet you'd get some views on that one. I'll film it. I try to get head from a guy, social experiment. <laughs> for science. Just, just a tight, 
just a tight on your face. Wow. Dude, that <laughs> one's blowing. <laughs> He's like, wowzer. <laughs> I That's think it would do pretty well on YouTube. I'm not gonna well. lie. I'm not gonna lie. I know. Listen, guys, I'm doing this for science. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm here to uh, learn. <laughs> no, I haven't. Listen, I have. I have. Um, I've. I have gotten because you know whatever. It's you know I've. I've gotten. Um, I'm very comfortable with my sexual. I've gotten head from a dude for sure. Oh, you have? Yeah, like you know, eleven times. But the thing is, <laughs> no. Um, uh, maybe I think maybe three times, and it was it was dope. The one thing I was like just psychologically. For sure, mechanically, from a biomechanical standpoint, pure performance I'm talking, right? For sure, far better than women. But there is something about women that I am attracted to femininity where even if the technique, it's not, it's not as, you know, um, efficient, but there's something about the softness just off the skin. Oh yeah, and, their and, lips are, and, and their the, exactly. lips are their face doesn't have okay. any stubble. No stubble. And that is, I think, what... It, it's, a, it's like a different, like matter. exactly. It's very different. I mean, like, I like I'm hooking up with guys with beards all the time, and like, so, like, kissing a woman was like, oh, she's so soft, right? Yeah. I like yeah. that. So I'm gonna try to feminine, <laughs> but from a pure performance standpoint, for sure, man, I gotta give it to gay man, a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. I think there's just more end to it. Yeah. You know, yeah. Glad you clarified. That. No, no. <laughs> I don't know if anybody wanted my statement at all, but I'm just gonna say it right now, gay man, you fucking killed it. Yeah. yeah. No, it's it's for a lot of modeling jobs where like photographers offer me something if they could also blow me. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's and it kind of was confusing with my fiance then because I was like, you know, if she wanted to give me head, I'd be like, well, get, what are you giving me for that? You know, I mean, can you can you get, <laughs> okay, can you get me a magazine cover? Like, what's going on? <laughs> You know, I'm not doing this unless you do something for me as well. I'm not gonna let you blow me unless you can something, you can put yeah. something, you can offer something. You know, what are you yeah, bringing to the table? For tat. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> God damn. Okay. Quid pro quo. Quid pro quo. Exactly. Yeah. And um, so what's next for you? So you have you said you don't really know what's next. Like, what's the what's the career trajectory of a porn star? Um, like how what what's the um, you know like what's the What's like the Super Bowl of porn? Like, what is the what do you want to achieve for you personally? What are your goals? And is there an expiration date for a man? Like, what's the what's the plan? Where do you I see yourself in five years? I don't Cole? know. I mean, like, I see. I'm like, I even. I mean, I see stuff on Instagram and uh, TikTok and stuff, and like these guys that are doing well on OnlyFans, and they're just like very young and very twinky and very exactly. like. I'm like, I can't keep competing with this forever. <laughs> So, well, I also wonder like and what there's a, always new ones. It's like, yeah. <laughs> so like, you know, I don't know if there is like a a place for me in the industry on like the other side of it, on like the production side. Yeah. Um I've like directed stuff for my own for like OnlyFans and stuff where I yeah. like put larger things together. Okay. And so and I'm pretty organized and like I can, I can do that. It's just, uh, yeah, I've, I've in the last year or so, like I've definitely felt like a lack of motivation to like, mm. to like, what's the driver is what's like, next. is like, um, was, is money a big motivation for you? Yeah. 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 Cause yeah. if the, if, if there's, Lots of money coming in, then I'm happy as a clam. Mm. But it's when like something takes a dip, like your numbers or whatever, yeah. and then you're like, oh my God, I'm stressed out. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. What I think I your life do? should be a direct correlation between money and happiness. I think then you know. <laughs> no, I, yeah. I mean, I'm pretty no, sure for not. most people it is. Oh, no, for money. Uh, uh, well, to a certain point, I think. To a certain point. For sure. But then and when you're purpose. used to having it a lot, then you get. And and there's no like risk like you're never gonna like people that are so rich that they're never gonna yeah ever have to struggle or ever but, have and to then worry there's about the thing anything. Of purpose that then, comes in. Yeah. then they find other things too. Absolutely. Too, yeah. And they always act tired, so you feel sorry for them. Yeah. Yeah. They work so hard. Well, because that's why I'm so rich. Yeah. I mean, I <laughs> I I'm I'm making way less money right now yeah. since I transitioned to comedy, but I'm way happier than than before. You know. Yeah. So it's kind of like, I think, if, but also like I'm still doing very well. So like, I think happiness is correlated to money for sure to a certain point. There's even studies of this. Like, I think it's like a certain point where you can afford everything. You know, once you can live in a nice apartment, I can go to New York, I don't have to worry about finance or food. 
from then there's diminishing returns. Extra money is only going to give me that much extra, yeah, you know, right. pleasure, happiness. So for me, it's like once I know that I'm working towards something I love, like for me, it's comedy. Yeah. Then I think that gives me like fulfillment and purpose. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I definitely like doing comedy. Um, oh yes, I don't, exactly. Yeah. yeah, I like. I've done it a few. I've done it a few times. I've done some shows and whatever. Um, and for the most part, they've gone well, and it's like pretty. It's also like easy and like pretty natural. Natural. Yeah. I like write stuff down all the time. I like yeah. pop an edible and some nights and just sit on my couch oh, and, and I like sit and like watch it, whatever I'm watching sparks something. And yeah. then I just like write stuff down. And then when I'm sober, I can make, turn it into something. That's how a lot of comedians operate. A lot of people say they write drunk, edit sober. There's actually a <laughs> saying in comedy about that. Where I don't people think write, drunk works. Or like write I think drunk high, or whatever it is, like high or whatever marijuana. it is, right? And then, yeah. Mar yeah. Marijuana helps. Does it make you more creative? It makes me. It makes. I. It, I just find more things funny. Ooh. How? And then I like. But it'll be for some weird reason. Yeah. So then it's the weird reason that you think it's funny that you yeah. can talk about, and then people are like, "Oh, I've never thought about it like that." Interesting. <laughs> how about? Um, so you say it makes you more creative. How about sex on drugs? Because for me. I've had incredible experiences on psychedelics because where I just connected, I just felt like I became the other person. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. And I just had this sense of connection. I was just an unfiltered, raw, primal connection with the other person. We were just like, you know? <laughs> um, well, I mean, for filming, I don't like to be on anything. Yeah. Um, it's probably, you have to be so right. I feel like the studios probably do their drug test you. No. <laughs> They, they, I think a lot they of people are not. <laughs> 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 so, oh, no, sorry, that was such a dumb question. I'm sorry, guys. No, <laughs> no, they'd have to recast all the time. Okay. Put it, like, <laughs> more than they already have to do <laughs> for like people flaking or testing positive for a oh, STI. Oh, for like, you you being tested, I'm sure, for like STIs. We get tested STIs. for that. Yeah, 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 yeah that yeah. makes sense. For sure, yeah. Also, like, also, like I've been tested, uh, you know, at two weeks before my scene. Yeah. And they're like, don't have sex until the, I'm, I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I have to film. I'm cold fucking I'm like, Connor. What the so fuck? So for me, I'm like, <laughs> when I've passed that test, I'm, I'm good to go. Mm. Like, obviously if something comes up, then I would, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That I would cancel. But do you um, also test people? Like when you shoot for only fans, do you test each other? Some guys do. I find usually like if I film with, a guy that does buy or straight porn too. Basically, if they work with women, mm, then, then you got to test. Then because... they like they don't want they like women are more precious about it. I think about getting STIs. Why is um, that? Is that it does, does it affect women differently? Um, I am not sure if it's i think I women know, just I tend to be I more think, responsible I human think, beings well, maybe, maybe. <laughs> but um i think they also might get more shit than a man would mm. for getting an sti true it's true it's they, almost might, like, yeah. they might not it's like a double standard because sure. they had to because they didn't test positive but test also negative. in society i feel like right but yeah that's, woman, i mean it's, like, a, it's bullshit <laughs> yeah if you have a lot of sex as a guy you like you know you're like a player as a woman yeah. you're like mm. you know not pure. Yeah, so yeah. she'll get slut shamed more, exactly, than, more exactly. than a guy would. Yeah. Like I've I've lost lost scenes because I tested positive for like yeah. chlamydia or gonorrhea before. How many? How I've many? also gotten it back before when I tested positive for gonorrhea, and it was like over a week before the shoot. I went and got treated. Went back 24 hours later, tested negative. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm negative. It takes one day to clear gonorrhea hmm. after treatment. 24 hours. Damn. Two for women. So you can. I didn't know. You you really, you get get I know they tell I've you not never, to have sex for like a week after you get treated. And it's is, like, I'm sorry, it's a stupid question, but because I'm not very like sexually active. I've never had a one night stand, for example. How do you, do they have a swab, like a dick swab, like for COVID? Like how do you, how do you test for uh, STIs? Urine and blood. Oh, urine and blood? Yeah. That was but such But they a used to swab back in the day. Yeah, because 
that they were that was um that was a slut shame thing to do. You they know, would they never swab. needed to do that. All you have to do yeah. is pee in a cup. You can <laughs> there, test. Was just, there was just one dude who had like a weird fetish, you know? He had like a swab oh, no, fetish. It, and no, he was I know like, people do. Oh, yeah. That's like, that is a fetish. Swabbing? Like putting things in the Pee-hole? urethra. Dang. Yo, they would and put their like, swab and deep. Like, dude. It's, so how many? Wait, you. So you. I can't this, yeah? remember what it's called. Back in the day, but now it's all year. Back in the day, yeah. I mean, they would plunge that swab in there. I've was, never. How had deep that can you go? Done. I mean, in that's in that with state, mine. They, with me, dude, in that deep. state, they could go like fucking. <laughs> I don't even know <laughs> inches, but you know, fucking, they could go this deep, dude. Coming like, out your ass. You know what I mean? It's like <laughs> I'd be like, like, a I'd be like, like you know like what? Just, like, the t- I'm like, <laughs> just assume I have everything and treat me. Because I'm not doing that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just give me all the fucking. That's a very just American stance, you know. Just give me everything, dude. I'll take any pill. <laughs> fucking, let's go, America. That's right. That's all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, that's dope, though. And then you're going to the, the the awards, right? And when you, I'm just curious how the awards, because I just watched like the the Golden Globe stuff like that. When you go to the um to the Gavians and you win the award, do you go up and have like an acceptance speech? Yeah. What do you say? What did you say in yours? Um, I don't know because I don't want to. I don't want to jinx myself and like write a whole speech because <laughs> then I'd be like, oh, I wrote this speech for nothing if I don't. Win. No, no, but the last, <laughs> no, but the last one, the last one we did, like the you, because you won last year. The last year, right? one I like wrote. So I was like, I'm like, we were getting ready. I was with my friend Adam Ramsey, um, who who does a podcast with me. Is this um, Gordon's brother? No. No? Okay. No. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he, um, so we were like leaving the hotel room to go to the awards and I was like, I should write, I should make a few notes real quick of like who to thank if I, yeah, like if I do end up winning. And, uh, and a lot of people thought I was going to win anyway. Like a lot of people were like, oh, you're definitely winning. Yeah, because it was like there wasn't anything else like that. Yeah, really. So, uh, yeah, I wrote some things down on like a little receipt, <laughs> and like I had it, I like pulled it out, and I was like, I wrote, I <laughs> wrote something down here, and like trying to read it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was, I, I told you like everybody's drunk <laughs> by then. Oh, everybody's drunk then. Yeah, and it was like one of the la- one of the later awards. Yeah. So I'm like, I was like. Or was it? No, actually, maybe it was. Maybe it was an earlier award. But they were still already remember. drunk. drunk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> oh, you were drunk also. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, there you well go, they yeah. have an open bar at the yeah, Gavians. Yeah. yeah. Not like the Grabbies. Yeah. The Grabbies makes you pay. Oh yeah. <laughs> <Fucking grabby. laughs> Shout out man. Like, don't you know who I am? Yeah. <laughs> I'm Cole fucking Connor, dude. I'm fucking Raging Stallion, <laughs> best actor. So what do you say? You were just like, I just. First of all, I just want to thank my manager. I want to thank my mom. I want to thank like, my family. I want to thank my dad for I've never gifting me with my, this. I've never thanked for my uh, family or parents for when, I, when I've gotten an award for anything okay. ever. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, that's good. I get that. I get that. I love have them they so been supportive much. of your <laughs> career? <laughs> yeah. They, they have been, yeah? Okay. Yeah, yeah, they have been. They've been great. Um, I, I think I will... If I if I win something this year, I'm up for like gay performer of the year. Okay. Um, and best actor. You asked me that earlier, and I, yeah. there's like maybe like best duo for some for one of the scenes I okay. did. Um, and my brother is gonna come with me. Mm. My straight younger brother. Yeah. So and it's his birthday, like the day he leaves. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> but um, so I think he'll have fun at the expo. At the Avian, yeah, the Avian Expo, and I hope you meet him. And like if you, if you win the award and we're there, we're gonna fucking go crazy. Yeah, you know, we're gonna be like, oh yeah, because you guys are gonna be working come, party. Come, come, come. We'll be your cheerleaders. <laughs> oh my god, I have no idea what's gonna happen. I'm gonna do some stand up shows in Vegas, and I'm gonna go to these. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm gonna go to the award and to the party. So I'll see you there. Uh, I'm very curious about everything about life. Yeah, yeah. And we get to interview a lot of the. People. I think so. I think so. I want to make it fun. Want to do a little vlog, whatever. You know, we'll have some fun for sure. Is there yeah. anyone that you would love to collaborate with? I mean, is Malik, is he top the charts or? He was great. I, um, he's not like, 
he's not easy. He's not that easy to schedule with. Mm -hmm. Like he's kind of all over the place, right? Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> he's sorry, also French. He's also French. So sometimes it's hard because yeah, he's just like a language yeah, thing, yeah. right? But yeah. Um, also, he has like a manager that like yeah. you, I mean, you'd be trying to coordinate with him and trying to coordinate with the manager yeah, and sure. like things are, I'm like, yeah. there's too many conversations. Why don't Malik and I just handle it? Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, uh, I don't know. I mean, yeah, there, there are people, but I mean, I don't know. I don't okay. like, right. so, like, <laughs> like, I don't like to, I don't like the question. I don't like to answer a question. Like who's the, Who's been your favorite person? Because no, I'm no, like, no, no, no. Who, who do you just hurt everybody? Who do you want feelings? to throw under the <laughs> bus? Who's your least favorite person you've ever worked with? Uh, Publicly on live television. Uh, <laughs> we're going to fucking end this career right here. Like you know? We're going to We're going to fucking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> your career is over after We've this. We've mentioned podcast. one in this interview. <laughs> Oh, I, I know. I think I know. I know exactly because I, I can see your body language when I said that. So I was like, yeah, yeah. Go figure. People are gonna figure it out. So we start some drama right here. Okay. Fuck yeah. So then, let's finish with this. So like, what's your? Okay. So we did this. We did the sex. The the um, um the sex tips. And then okay. Um, how big do you have to be to be a porn star? There we go. That's what I wanted to know. Um, I think. I mean, I definitely know. I'm definitely. Worked with some guys that don't have huge dicks. And sometimes it's not about their dicks. Sometimes it's about their ass. Like, <laughs> I thought you were going to say personality, but I forgot where you're from. <laughs> sometimes it's not about, no, it's about the heart. It's never like, about fuck? personality. <laughs> it's, it's not about ass. the dick. It's about the heart. Dick, ass, body. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's about the hardness. Actually, like, I always say that. I always ask on my podcast, or not always, but sometimes we're like, rank what is important to you in someone yeah uh with body face dick <laughs> those are the three yeah <laughs> for women it's so different for women it's like bank account sense of humor sense of humor exactly <laughs> it's so different for women i love it like body face dick okay yeah and so, face probably yeah that body face yeah face like body bank dick account, yeah bank probably face for women yeah <laughs> bank, i mean body face. matters <laughs> I think I think for women, I think I'm I'm just guessing, you know. I think bank, I mean bank account, especially in this town, I feel like it's definitely high. But it makes sense. It comes from a sense of stability, you know. You you need that security, yeah. So what is yours then? Between ranking body, face, dick, bank I'm account, body, face, dick. <laughs> you body, body face, face dick. dick, body, face, dick. Dick is least like, important. I'll let a lot of things slide on a face <laughs> for a yeah. great body. <laughs> I think that's. I'll be like, oh, the face is kind of busted, but the body is on point. Thank you. And then I'll do it. And the dick is whatever, you know. I think and the dick is like whatever. I'm like, because I'm verse also, so like, sometimes I want a top, sometimes I want a bottom. It kind of. So you're not like on. one or the other. You like either. Yeah, that's nice. I, I like that. Yeah, I like I'm that. like. Yeah, I feel like that's. I feel like that's one of the privileges of being gay is we have the choice. You know, exactly. Not just topping all the time. Yeah. Like we can experience both. So why not? That's beautiful. Right. But it, so in your scenes, do you mainly perform one, one of or the, the other? One of the few privileges. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly right. <laughs> Take that one sound bite. <laughs> we are so privileged as gays that we get to <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> um, so in your scenes, do you have a preference then? Do you do more get cast? And because they just tell you what to do, right? Or do you do tell them your preference? Um, I, it's pretty, I mean, like I do a lot of flip scenes, but I've also done probably equally like for studio scenes, probably equally top and bottom. Yeah. If not flip. Does one pay and, more than the other? Cause I mean, one is more prepping and stuff goes into no. 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 And I prep anyway, anytime I'm doing a scene. See, that's the professional you are. Because I've also had, I've also gone thinking that I'm going to top and then have had to end up bottoming too. Mm, yeah. And I've been, sometimes I've been booked to bottom and then the other person is having dick problems mm. and I have to turn into this. And top. then you become the hero of the day. The hero of the day. That's amazing. That's amazing. You're a true professional. I really, really <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Is there anything, let's go a little deeper just real quick. Cause this has been fun. Uh, any regrets? So I do OnlyFans. I've definitely pushed the boundaries many times. You'll see my penis basically whenever you want on there. But mm, subtle plug. I probably, yeah. you know, I probably would have chosen something over that. 
I don't have any regrets. <laughs> the money's great. My bank account's nice. Yeah. But I don't think it would have been the tip of the iceberg for me. How about you? Um, as far as like getting into any, porn and OnlyFans, sure. Stuff? Any regrets or? Um, I guess. Or like, what's the negative sides of being a porn star? Essentially, sure. you know, yeah. like some of the more negative, um, if, if there are any for you. Well, you can't always be dependent on your body and feeling good, and for yeah. like. You have to perform. It's like sure. the same thing that annoyed me about being a personal trainer is I'm like, I have to perform sessions. I have yeah. to show up and do something and work with someone. Like I, otherwise I don't get paid. Yeah. Same thing for sex work. For sure. It's like I have to, if I don't feel like having sex that day, I have to have sex that day. Yeah. And it's like some days I'm like, Oh, thank God I don't have to have sex today. <laughs> Do you feel pressure also? Because a lot of the success revolves around you being good looking, being in great shape. Do you feel the pressure of your success being so reliant on your physical shape? Yeah, I that I definitely felt um, mm. last year I had to have two surgeries on my legs Okay, for ruptured hamstring tendons, Dang. which happened in like an attack in January of 22, right before I went. Oh yeah, I, I saw that. I saw you. I saw you. Instagram. So that was like. Rock, so yeah. that just took a long Shit. time. It was like that one thing, just has extended itself in my life for like two years. Yeah. So and then I was, you know, I was like on crutches for four months. Yeah. Between like October and. Of course, in that yeah. In January. Yeah. So I think last year the AVNs. Uh, was the first time I, or like the ex biz yeah it was like one of the first times i didn't have to walk with crutches dang yeah so um uh and i've had so and now i have like these surgery scars yeah that are visible yeah so i'm like i don't know i'm like maybe it's time to move on maybe nobody wants to see that <laughs> well but i think you still because your look is also yeah. i think more like uh you know like some people as men, you're different categories. You say all these young guys who do like OnlyFans and all this stuff. So we met some of them. They're like, you know, 18 and fucking yeah. making so much money. It's unbelievable. I wonder what they're going to do. Because you have like this look where you're like, you're like a man. You know what I mean? So I feel like mm -hmm. there's definitely more of a, you know, yeah. longevity to it. I'm assuming, you know. But, I would think so as well. Yeah. I don't know. I, just I, was just, I, just, I would just tell them to save their money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's very financially responsible. I love yeah. that. I love that. Well, thanks so much. I appreciate you for coming on. Thank uh, so you. Yeah. What's your Instagram with people behind you? Cole Connor? Cole Connor underscore official. Official. <laughs> yeah. Have you had accounts to lead it to? I had my TikTok got, uh, t yeah. got taken down I mean, yeah, like they, recently. They do that. Yeah, and that now I'm like, all the time, why yeah. bother? They don't, they like, don't even give you any views anymore. Yeah, it's exactly. Like, it's yeah. pathetic. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, oh great. 300 people saw that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I hope a lot um, more people see this one. Um, yeah. And, I, yeah. I was having trouble with Instagram like recent, like over the holidays. Okay. It's like every single thing was getting flagged and was, they were like, your account's not recommendable. You can edit yeah, or yeah, remove yeah. these. And like, there's nothing wrong with any of these posts. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, there's no nudity. There's no yeah. genitalia. There's no simulated sex. There's nothing like Sometimes at the most it's, it's kissing. It's, I'm it's, like, Oh, I wonder if you would take down a, a passionate wedding kiss. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Probably it's not. like, you know, you don't like gay people, do you? You know, it's like, you know, yeah. you should play that card. You should just message them, support people. Like, huh, I've been like, I guess you don't is, like gay this people. Seems pretty homophobic. And then, exactly. Yeah, and then, you is, know, so. maybe that helps. Maybe that helps. Yeah. I don't know. know. I mean, there's definitely been biases <laughs> where people say that with uh, social media platforms yeah. targeting, um, cause it's not very advertiser friendly and targeting and demonetizing, taking down more content. That's, that's like queer content, whether it's men or women, you know? Um, so I don't know if that's, I think I'm assuming that's changing, but it's definitely, these algorithms, it's all like, it's not real people. You know, it's, it's, it's bots. Yeah, but also yeah. it is, I, I don't know if it's true for those, but probably, but with OnlyFans, because like Visa and MasterCard like require a certain amount of takedowns every month, oh. every year, whatever of like videos or accounts. Yeah. Um, so they just have to make things up and take Make things down when and like maybe there wasn't really i mean that's why they started not allowing poppers and like just yeah, making, like, making, yeah, making these rules things. Oh. that you can't do 
stuff so so that they can so that they can take down your videos Damn, all these regulations the liberals are ruining the country guys it's uh, it's a problem <laughs> it's true. i don't think it's the liberals no. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a funny joke tag that we have yeah, yeah yeah man well but good best of luck i hope it doesn't get taken i'm i'm excited to be in vegas with you okay we're yeah. gonna have a lot yeah. of fun we're gonna Hell have fun yeah, yeah. what a guest what, what a guest. guest i love it i love it guys um stay uncensored new uh, subscribe to the channel recommend us on on itunes whatever <laughs> This is not the most family-friendly episode, but hey, we love you. <laughs> and we'll see you next week. Bye. Peace out. Uh, guys, quick disclaimer, this video might not be very uh, age-appropriate. If, if you've got any 13-year-olds in the house, maybe skip this one, but you know we're going to talk about the porn industry. Very exciting episode. So enjoy and subscribe. <laughs> Peace.